Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Olivia Olivia's Romantic at Home. In today's video, I am so excited to share with you guys some DIY Dollar Tree and budget friendly decor crafts. So I love to share with you guys how you can make your home boutique gorgeous on a budget and I truly believe that y'all don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous amazing home. Now don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's totally free. Punch the bell and click all. That will update you every single time I post a new video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns. Get out your glitter and paint and let's get to crafting. Okay, I am so excited to share with you guys a fun and easy Dollar Tree centerpiece. You're going to grab one of these little Dollar Tree foam pieces, and then I'm using this little plastic melanine plate from the Dollar Tree. I think it's so cute and cottagey, picnic-y. We are gonna do a 4th of July centerpiece, but listen, you guys can change this um, idea out for literally any holiday. Okay, I'm taking some of these little Easter Christmas trees and they kind of look like sparklers to me and I just pushed them in to either end of the styrofoam. And now I'm gonna take this wide Dollar Tree um, ribbon and I'm going to just take those branches and cross the branches over on the ribbon. And you wanna make it kind of like six to seven inch poofs as you go along your little centerpiece here. So I'm going to move the ribbon all the way down the center piece, and you might want to do it on both sides. I only did it facing you all, so you can kind of get the idea on it. Um, but you're just taking and l crossing the branches over on themselves. I added in some cute little white roses. We're going to make this into a 4th of July or patriotic center piece. So I took some of the Dollar Tree stars, I cut them apart, and I just gently hot glued them and pushed them down into the styrofoam, and then I added this United States flag. I'm also going to add in some greenery to kind of mix in and make it a little bit more summery. Now I'm taking some of this Dollar Tree wired ribbon. I take, I took it and I looped it over on itself. I'm going to trim it off and zip tie the center of it and then add some tails. This is just like a total cheat bow. So I'm just going to pop that in and hot glue it and bam. And I did that for each side. Now, when I was looking at it, I thought it needed a little bit more blue. So I'm taking this sparkly blue Dollar Tree ribbon and I'm making a bow like you would make a shoelace. And then I'm going to add that on top of the original ribbon. And I did that for both sides. Here's what it looks like close up. And I'm going to add some more greenery as well. I added another rose and then I added the USA sign to the very back and I just pushed that in to the back of the styrofoam and I also added in some hot glue. I think this turned out so fun and fabulous on a total budget and I actually made it for a friend of mine who is super patriotic, her and her husband, he's military. So thank you so much Chuck for your service and everybody out there, men, women, families for your service. God bless y'all and um, I'm just so proud. I love this uh, USA and tribute to uh, the 4th of July Memorial Day and all that kind of fun stuff. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I'm super excited to share with you guys how to make a high-end tray on a total budget. So I'm taking this Dollar Tree pizza pan and some of the 2X flat Rust-Oleum paint and I just used two coats on my entire pizza pan. Now I'm going to draw lines with a pencil down at my pizza pan. Actually, this was a marker. And then I'm going to draw lines the other way. Now this is going to be kind of like a Mackenzie Child's inspired tray, but instead of doing black and white checks, I thought red and white would be so adorable for summer. I'm just taking an old makeup brush and I'm using some Red Barn um, paint and I'm just adding it. Actually, this was a candy apple red paint, I believe is what it said and this is just that cheap paint from Walmart um, now I did do two coats on the checks and now for these checks they don't have to be perfect 
I really feel like painting for me is a little bit of therapy, if that makes sense. Um, so get out your paintbrush. Don't be afraid to mess up. Mine was not perfect at all. But if you look at like the Mackenzie Childs, um, which is a high end brand that the reason their items are so expensive is because they have real artists that paint every one of their pieces. So when you're hand painting something, pretend like you're an artisan and you're going for it and making something amazing. But anyway, I like the red and white idea um, because you can also translate this into Christmas. So I think this is super cute. It gives your table a little bit of vibrancy. And now think about this too. You guys could do blue and white. You could do yellow and white, really pink and white. You can do any color that you love. I'm going to play a little music and let you watch me paint. So on my second coating of the checks, I'm using a little bit of this white chalk paint. When you look at the McKenzie Child inspired designs, they do have white and kind of some gold drug through their checks. Um, it just gives it a little bit of dimension in my opinion and makes it look a little bit more authentic. Once I had that finished, then I'm going to go ahead and use some of this metallic gold paint and rim the edge of my pizza pan again for the Mc for the Mackenzie Child's original um, works, they actually have paint that has like little gold flecks in it, I believe. So here is how it turned out. I styled it with my America the Beautiful cup, my cute little Dollar Tree lantern, and some faux muff muffins. You guys can get these on Amazon. I actually have some linked in my Olivia's Romantic Home Amazon store. I thought this was a fun little fabulous idea on a budget, and I would recommend taking some waterproof um, Mod Podge and sealing it or adding a clear coat spray of sealant, especially if you're gonna be using it, it's gonna be highly trafficked. So anyway, fun and fabulous on a budget. For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you a super amazing little Dollar Tree hack. You can create a wreath using some of those Dollar Tree scarves. So I grabbed a couple of scarves in a Dollar Tree wreath form. I'm just going to hot glue the end of the scarf onto the wreath form and then twist it around the wreath form. I did end up using a couple of scarves for this project, and um, but this is so super easy. And you guys can even have your kiddos help you with this one. Whoops, sorry, that's my puppy dog, Benji Bear. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> The next thing I want to share with you guys is how to create a super easy bow. You're going to take this ribbon and loop it over on itself. And I believe I ordered this ribbon off of Amazon. I love the blue and white stripes, but just take it, loop it over on itself six times. And that's going to give you a really nice big bow. Also remember to use wired ribbon. You always want to use wired ribbon. That's going to give you a nice full fluffy bow <laughs> and just go ahead and trim that off. Once you have that looped over on itself. Itself. and then you're going to find the center of your bow pitch it at the center and you can use a zip tie floral wire whatever you need to basically tie off the center of your bow and then you're going to want to fluffy duffy out all those loops so you're going to take and twist those loops and i always say i love big bows and i cannot lie um, so just take those little loops pull them out and give them a nice fluffing so you're going to pull them out and fluff them as you um, arrange your bow and then you're also going to fluff them at the end of your project. The next thing I wanted to do was add this cute little Dollar Tree welcome gnome. It's the 4th of July gnome. And you guys heard Benji Bear barking earlier in this video. I have him now sitting on my lap. So if you hear him panting, he barked himself into a frenzy. The Amazon guy stopped by to deliver a package on our front doorstep. Now I'm taking some of this Dollar Tree 
tube rope stuff. It's I've always wondered what to do with this stuff. But hey, you can make a fun little bow and make it look fun. So I just took some of it and tied it on to the center part of this bow to kind of just zhuzh it up and give it a little bit of sparkle darkle, which I feel like we should have going on for 4th of July um, or patriotic holidays. Now I'm going to take and make some tails. So I'm taking these tails and I'm just going to gently kind of loop them in and around the top part of our little scarf wreath hack trick um, and then kind of hot glue them as we go. Now, if you can tell that the ends of my bows have little triangles cut in them, so you're gonna want to do that. Make sure you finish your bow off the ends of your ribbon, especially if you're gonna be selling your wreaths or even just giving them away or having them displayed in your home. It's always nice to finish off those tails. So I'm just kind of ruching and zhuzhing this ribbon as we go along. I just hot glued it in a couple of different places. That way it kind of stays on a little bit better. And then I'm taking some of these Dollar Tree pre-made bows, total cheap, but I love having a set of these for every season. Here is how our Dollar Tree 4th of July fabulous scarf hack wreath turned out. I hope you guys are loving it and get some ideas um, when you pick up some of those Dollar Tree signs. Now think about this. Maybe you're not into a 4th of July wreath, um, but you could make it for any season. So just pick, you know, something beachy or whatever you guys love, or if you love patriotic and 4th of July, God bless America. I do. Um, but I just want to give you guys some ideas too on how you can change it up. For this Dollar Tree tea, I want to show you guys how you can make a super easy little triple layered vase. This is kind of a hack. So you're going to take three of the Dollar Tree vases and some E6000 glue. You want to run the E6000 glue and a little bit of hot glue down the side of each vase. And then you're just going to kind of let that set up and you're going to glue them together. And this is going to give you just a fun way to display florals or whatnot. And think about this, you can change it out for any season it's so fun and easy to do so you're going to glue them all together and then bam you have this fancy kind of vase now you do want to let it set for a while to kind of dry i'm going to take and wrap some raffia around this we want this to be kind of a patriotic like easy little floral i feel like crafts in the summer should just be easy because listen this weekend I have been um this last weekend I did a ton of spring cleaning I'm finally back off my ankle add in some Dollar Tree rocks and then some pretty flowers and you'll have a fabulous um little wreath but anyway so I've been doing a bunch of spring cleaning and now I've got to get some plants planted my poor flower beds I don't know if I didn't do very much last year but they're really in need of some help um I finally got my grass mowed today I didn't do it. I had some help with that, thankfully. But I've noticed I've really got to get out there and get my porches, you know, rolling and all that kind of fun stuff. So we should have some fairly decent weather. It's still going to be a little bit chilly this weekend. Um, but hey, let me know what you guys are up to. Oh, also, I need to tell you guys about a giveaway. I'm doing a $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. I'll leave the details of that in the description box below. This is a new giveaway. I haven't done one of these in a while, um, but I thought I should, should spoil you guys. So these are just flowers from Dollar Tree. They're red and white carnations, and then some cute little blue flowers to make our red, white, and blue. And once the red, white, and blue holiday is over, um, you guys can change it out and put in some fall flowers and then Christmas flowers and change out your cute little bow. So this is a really fun idea on a budget and you don't even have to use Dollar Tree vases. Maybe you could even just save some jars like spaghetti jars that are all the same size. Here is how it looks styled in my little coffee maker area with some cute goodies. Okay, for this Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to share with you all a hack on how you can make a Dollar Tree plastic lantern look a little bit more bougie or high end. You're going to take some gold metallic paint. You can order this off Amazon or get it at Hobby Lobby. And you're just going to gently brush it on to your lantern. Now, the black looks pretty chic and wonderful as well, but it is kind of plasticky when you look at it up close. So I just thought, hey, let's try this and see if we can make it look a little bit more high end, like it's been gold edged or plated. So you'll have to let me know what you think about it. Um, but these are actually in the Dollar Tree Plus section. Now I am having trouble with getting the little candle inside working. It's a solar lantern, so I'm gonna try to pop it outside and see if I have better luck. Let me know how you guys are doing with yours. I also need to pick up some ferns. I love doing ferns. They do pretty well on my front porch. What do you guys planting this season and 
So let me think. It's getting towards the end of April. Is it safe to put plants out? I can't remember. I probably need to Google it. Um, I don't think we have any hard freezes left here, though, where I'm at. Um, I'm in the Midwest, so let me know where you guys are at. Drop it down in the comment section below. And also don't forget um, to enter my $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. So to enter the Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway, I'm going to have the giveaway open for an entire month. Um, and um, so all you guys have to do is comment down below one of the answers to any of the questions in this video. So, you know, what plants, uh, let's make the question, what plants are you guys going to be planting? What's the first plant you're going to plant for spring? Are you doing doing a garden. I'm not doing a garden. Well, I might might be doing a small garden. Actually, my daughter is growing some little sprouts um, like uh, basil and oregano and some little sunflowers and whatnot. I have them all in my window. My whole little windowsill in my kitchen is full of her starter plants. So I'm really excited for that, but I'm letting her kind of do it all on her own. So um, she's thinking she wants to do a little garden in the backyard. So we'll see how that goes. I'm also working on trying to get all the debris out of our little pool. We have a little pool in our backyard too, and it's kind of a wreck. But anyway, um, so yeah, let me know what, what are the plants you guys are going to be planting this season. Here's how the little lantern turned out. I don't know. I think it looks kind of cute having that dimension on it. Um, it looks a little bit more aged. Um, so anyway, and I love this little America, the beautiful cup. I get my mugs at TJ Maxx. A lot of you guys ask about that. And also my prayer cards come from Dollar Tree. So I do one of those every single morning. And I know you guys are enjoying that. Usually I'm posting those on my Instagram or my Facebook stories. Um, so anyway, God bless y'all. I'm so thankful and happy to have you here. Don't forget to drop those comments down below so you can enter in to my $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. Remember for all of my giveaways, I never send you personal messages asking you for any information. I will announce the start of the giveaway, which I'm announcing now, and then the giveaway will close and I will announce the winner um, on my social media. And all you guys have to do is email me um, the winning if, if you're the winner. So anyway, all right, here we go. Here is Benji Bear. We are in the living room and he has got his love bug scarf on. Um, sorry, it was a little bit blurry. I probably had like a makeup or food smudge on my camera. I film everything with my iPhone, so sometimes that happens. But he's wanting to choose a treat to share with you guys, or not a treat, a toy. He loves playing with toys. Um, and so he's got this little toy right here, and off he goes. He's really not great at playing. Um, there's my ankle brace. I still have an ankle brace on. I'm able to walk pretty good. Um, but anyway, so... Everybody say hi to Benji Bear. We love y'all, all those puppy dogs and kitty cats that are fans with Benji Bear. And I hope y'all having a gorgeous, blessed day. Can't wait for our next video and love y'all. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous Crafty Decor adventure. It is a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia's Lemieux's Romantic Home. I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique a gorgeous on a budget. And I truly believe that y'all don't have to make the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. Now for everybody that comes back and loves on me, I thank you all so, so much. I'm a DIY crafty mama. This is my fifth season on YouTube and I'm a one woman show. So it's me, you, and this camera and all the love and support and kind comments truly mean the world. Now I'm wishing you a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed day. No matter where you're at, get up, show up, and do your best, okay? Everybody's going through something, so I just want to encourage you guys. I love y'all. I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight. Until our next video, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. Talk to you guys very soon. Mm -hmm.